Okay, here we are. Uh, <clears throat> I just got done finished cutting the crown. And what I'd like to do next is to chamfer the very inside of the crown where there are still burrs remaining from the last uh, cut. When I did the 11 degree cut towards the inside, towards the diameter, there are some burrs remaining. And what I did is I did a little bit of research on the internet and, and looked around and found that uh, some people use about a 60 degree cut, some people use about a 45 degree cut, but the cut nonetheless is very minimal. It's just enough to remove the burr. And so in order to get that cut perfect, what I did is I, I recentered uh, the barrel and got it absolutely perfect. I'm going to try to put my hand here to take the glare out of the dial indicator so you can see it. So it looks like you can see it pretty well there. And you'll see it comes back to zero between all the lands. Uh, this dial indicator is a half ten thousandths dial indicator, so it's extremely accurate. Uh, so I'm coming back to zero. It is about as close as I can get it. I mean, that's about as fine as frog hair. So I'm going to call that good for centering the very end of the barrel. And you can also see now that the lands are perfect. They all pop up to about uh, three and a half thousandths. And uh, in between the lands, I'm coming right back to zero or just a tiny bit less than zero. So the lands are about three and a half there without the glare. So that, that's very good for the end of the barrel. I'm gonna, pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead with the cut or slight chamfer, we'll call it. So I'll remove the dial indicator. Place the cutting tool and uh, quite decided on exactly how I'm going to do this yet, but I think we're going to call that about good there. Bring that up and swing this over to about first. I'm going to realign my tool post so I can have a little bit better idea of what 45 degrees is. Okay, I'm just straightening out the tool post holder right now. <coughs> and I'll line it up here. Put it on 45 degrees. I looked at a few new barrels I had also and noticed that they had ever so slightly chamfered the inside. And four take away the machining burr. And so I'm going to do the same. And I think we're going to call that good right there. Okay, so I grab some Grab some glasses here so I can see a little better. And what I'm going to do is just, just touch that steel there. Just touch it off and, and put a little bit of an edge on there. I'm going to screw up a good thing. 
Looks like everything's in the clear. Oh, in between gears here. see if I actually uh, got a chamfer all the way around. If I do, I'm going to call that good. And it looks like I do. A little more air here. Well, maybe that's too much light for the camera. Oh, that reflects badly. Oh, maybe that's the best, I don't know. I think I might touch it just once more. I might not have it clean all the way around. <laughs> DRO on. I'm going to mark my zeros here so I know where I'm at in case I need to go back once more. Okay, it looks like I've touched all the way around, which is all I wanted. I just wanted to remove enough to uh, ensure that there's no burr there. And I think I'm going to call that good. As you can see around the edge here, <clears throat> I kind of took the burr off here with the file. It seems to work pretty well to round this edge a little bit. And I did it ever so slightly. I don't like huge chamfers. I think it looks a little sloppy. Uh, same way with this inside ridge here. I used uh, this same bit, and I just broke the very fine edge of it uh, ever so slightly. So <clears throat> the actual crown looks beautiful, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video and uh, get a really good close-up. I'm going to focus the camera manually again, and you can kind of compare that video with uh, one prior uh, to the factory crown and you'll see that this one here is far superior okay uh, I feel I've pretty much completed this crown um, last video I did my champ from the inside I'm gonna move the light around here a little bit try to get some fairly decent lighting conditions for the camera so you can kind of see the results uh, you can see the all four lands in there clearly now. Uh, also, you can see the ever so slight chamfer I put on there. Uh, it looks pretty darn clean. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to start the lay too, and you can kind of compare from what you've seen before with the 
inside of the barrel looked kind of like it weaved in and out as it was going around between the lands and everything. It, uh, factory, I don't know if they didn't cut it or didn't finish it or got sloppy. I, I'm not sure what happened. But uh, anyway, that's a nice square end there with the 11 degree cut on this inside edge. Boy, it's hard to show that. And this edge right, right here, right here, right there. That's cut at 11 degrees. So it almost looks like I might have a little bit of a burr, right? Right there, it needs to be removed yet. I can kind of see it. Oh, nope, that's not a burr. That's just crap. I chamfered that, so shouldn't be a burr there. It looks nice and clean. So I'll start the lay and you can kind of take a look at how perfect it is now. the accuracy of this barrel. So I'm going to put the barrel back on and uh, hopefully I'll get some accuracy out of it. All right, and I think that pretty much concludes crowning. And uh, if I have the time, I'll try to make another video of uh, the groups I get with this rifle. Thank you for watching. Okay, uh, I'm going to take one more shot here at a little bit different angle and a little bit different light source. And let you see finished results. Try not to shake the barrel too much and turning it by hand. And I have the camera and I'm going to focus. I'm trying to get you the best possible picture. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but. I'm going in and out of focus here. But hopefully, I'll just go ahead and go here and see if that uh, helps at all. And look at the chrome. And uh, I'm going to go and grab a DPMS barrel. It's brand new, and you can kind of take a look at that crown and compare it, see what you think of that versus this one. And this is a DPMS S A S S rifle, or 223 barrel. Or I guess it's a 556 five, barrel actually. I don't know if the crown will show up on here or not. That's a factory crown there. It's done really well. And you can see also there's a little bit of a chamfer in there too. I try to kind of do that same thing, just touch it to take the burrs off. So. difficult to hold the camera and the barrel at the same time and manual focus, but hopefully uh, you can see it right about there. So anyway, that's what crowning is all about, getting that edge perfect.